starting to clean pistons two and three, uh, turned the crank so that I could get to those pistons. And when I did, pistons one and four lowered and kind of spotted some problems there. Some definite scoring in that cylinder. And cylinder four is even worse. I got the piston heads looking great. They look fantastic. And the cylinder walls, other than that, look pretty darn good. Except I have some scoring there, and I'm guessing uh, that's causing friction. And that's causing friction, contributing to my overheat issues that I have every single summer. I use a little pick tool to pick out these block passages that the gasket blocked. And they lead to the same exact place as, let's just say, this jacket and that jacket. These are cooling jackets. And I picked that one out and picked that one out, and they lead basically the same place. There's just one large cavity down here, and at least in both places. And after thinking about it for a while, the only conclusion that I can come up with as to why that gasket blocked off those four coolant jackets is to increase the pressure of all the jackets, let's just say, because they're all all of those jackets are connected. There's just one large cavity, coolant cavity, that runs beside and around every single cylinder. So they're all connected, and then blocking off those passages will raise the pressure to which coolant shoots out. Well, my thought was drilling those out will <clears throat> increase the flow of coolant all the way around. However, it will decrease the pressure at which it flows. I'm not so sure that's such a good idea. Here's the results from cleaning up the block from the other day. It has started rusting a little bit in some places, not so much that I'm worried about. Uh, everything else cleaned up fairly well. I've gone at the pistons, cleaned those up. I'm about to start on those. I've been using an aluminum and nylon brush. Uh, aluminum to clear the, the, the big surfaces in here and then the nylon brush to really get up in those little corners in there. And that seems to have worked out fairly well. Uh, there was a tiny little ring around the edge and kind of expected that. Actually, I expected it to leak a whole bunch down, you know, like leak trails, and it didn't do that, so I'm pretty happy with that. It means the rings are sealing fairly good. But as you can see, my coolant passages have started rusting, rusting fairly good too. And it's actually the same way on the head. Even though the head was hot tanked, a lot of the stuff in the head has, for those coolant passages, for whatever reason, they've started rusting too. Residual water left over, I guess, I'm not exactly sure. I'm gonna have to flush the hell out of this system in order to get rid of all that rust. And I'm not even sure that's gonna be able to do it. So I will be doing extreme coolant changes over the course of the next couple months, provided I don't blow up my engine when I get everything reassembled. Spiders came back. At least a couple more brown widows to get at. Okay, I'll show you how I went about cleaning up the pistons. You get a little bit of your degreaser in here. You start making small little circles. Now when you get some on your brush, you see that it's dirty. Go ahead and clean that up. Now you'll still have some liquid on here, as you can see, and you want it to be actually this, this dirty liquid because you know that that's the activated degreaser. And this stuff, using this method will actually work better than just spraying a whole bunch on brand new and trying to go at it. That'll take you a while. You want it to sit in here, get activated, and then use the activated dirt and gunk and stuff to start cleaning.
Okay, so now I have all the pistons cleaned up. I'll get all that little junk out of there. Next is uh, cleaning off the mating surface with a uh, razor blade. And what you want to do is just try and get underneath this little black gasket material that's all over the place, as well as any oil gunk buildup. You must get all of this black gasket material and oil and any impurities off the surface. Don't dig in because even the slightest little scoring of a razor blade could be a, a potential cause for leaks down the road. Not immediately, but we're talking years down the road when things start to break down. It will find those little score passages um, where you scored, let's just say potentially scored the block. This is going to be very time consuming and when Jaffro did it he had the advantage of having the block completely off and off and onto an engine stand. If you're only replacing a head gasket, removing the head to repair valves, things like that, obviously you're not going to have this on an engine stand. Ideally you would, if you can, take the, the engine off and put it on an engine stand so that you can do further improvements like checking the journals, checking thrust bearings, uh, making sure that the crank is in, in spec, uh, your oil pump is good, as well as hone your cylinders. Uh, I would recommend you do that. Fortunately, I don't have the tools or equipment to do that. This is the best I'm going to be able to do. So far, I've cleaned up all the left side of the mating surface. And uh, the right side, as you can see all the little black marks, that's part of gasket material. So. I'll see if I can get a close-up shot. Do a, I'm going to do something like that. Try not to get it down into your passages if you can help it. If you're doing it in place, you're really not going, you're not going to be able to avoid getting stuff in these jackets. It sucks, but there's really no way around that. So just do your best. After you have used your razor blade to go around and get all the gasket off, use your finger all the way around just to see if you can feel any high spots because your finger has a lot better feel than the razor blade. Uh, make sure you go all the way around the rings and even the slightest bit of anything that's uneven if it doesn't feel like it's highly polished, such as, let's say, if you were to wet sand or something like that, that's how it should feel. It should feel perfectly smooth. Even though it has a little bit of discoloration, the entire thing feels perfectly smooth. It feels really good. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for a good mating surface between the head gasket and the block. Do the same thing on the head, but if you've had it machined, more than likely that is going to be a true surface. But, just to err on the side of caution, you want to make sure that that's true too. And I think we're just about ready to put on the head gasket. One problem that I noted uh, last time I checked out the cylinders was the lip around here seems a little bit rusted. And it was. You take your finger and you go up the side. It stopped there. I've already cleaned this lip up. But I haven't cleaned this lip up so you can see the difference. If I move my finger up here, it, it kind of catches on this this lip right here where it's all crusted over. Burnt oil, I'm guessing. But it easily catches right there. So that's a friction point I want to try and get rid of. And I've been cleaning it up the same as the piston head, uh, using a little bit of degreaser on a towel and wiping the lip and then going at it real gently with a, uh, an aluminum brush. I know that's going to score a little bit, but I would rather have it score on this lip than have the carbon buildup on top of here, simply because I know that carbon buildup is going to make that the top of that piston stick a little bit. I'm only doing this to try and prevent some friction from happening on the top of the lip here. And I'm on the exhaust stroke right here, so this is the perfect time to clean this, and then the next crank around will be, will be back at the compression stroke, and then I'll do the same for one and four.
I'm going to call it a day. My arms are shot. It's about all I can get done for today. I have stuffed cylinders one and four with rags and I'll turn the crank over back over tomorrow. Uh, I sprayed down cylinders one and four with oil and clean it out, stuff some rags in there so that one and four won't flash rust. Let's just say in the health of the cylinder walls it goes two, three, one, and four being the worst. I don't know why it is that way, but it is. Cover everything up with rags. Do one last check online of any last minute research I need to do. And tomorrow we'll start with putting the head gasket back on and the head bolts. And one nice thing about taking video of the whole project is that I can go in reverse order watching series five and then four and then three and just do everything in the reverse order. It's also nice that if you're going to do this to take video or images, although you will be taking a lot of pictures, it's just easier to take video and then reverse your steps in the video. And we'll start on the head reassembly tomorrow. So head preparation, done. I'm coming after you next. <laughs>